and says that Samama at least have a look at your companions, and he again insulted his companions. Third day, Prophet comes. Third day, he asks the same question and says, Samama, don't look at my face, don't look at my companions, at least to have a look at the city that I have recently founded. Travel through Medina, maybe that will change, change your heart. And Samama, he insults Medina. And finally say, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon Samama, what do you want? What do you want? Samama says, set me free. I want to go away. And Prophet commanded his companions, set him free. Set Samama free. Samama is set free. And he goes away. He reaches a water place. He washes his face. And his voice, inner voice, his conscience speaks to him. Samama, shame on you. Samama, don't you sit and realize, say, if you were in the shoes of Prophet Muhammad and if Muhammad peace be upon him, if he would have insulted the way you did, you would have killed him. This man is not normal. He is really the Prophet of, Muhammad, Prophet of Allah. He is really the messenger of Allah. Otherwise, you can never see mercy at this height. Bil mumin in al-Furaim. Even bil kafir in al-Furaim. And what Sumama does, Sumama returns. And he goes before Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He says, Sumama, I have set you free. Why did you, why did you return? He says, I have returned to become Muslim. This is what love does. Love conquers all. Hate begets hate. You, you have already, I say, known about Vashi, about Hindah. Prophet forgave those two murderers. Amr bin Wahab, the person who had come to assassinate Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet forgave him. That old Jewish person, once he was, I say, walking down the road, Prophet, peace be upon him, was following him. He was Jew. You know Quran, what Quran says about Jews. That Jews, they are the worst enemies of Muslims. Quran says it. That Jews are, are your worst enemies. But still, how Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, behaves towards his worst enemies. A Jew is walking on the road. He's very old. And Prophet, peace be upon him, out of respect for that non-Muslim Jew, out of respect for that elderly Jew, he does not excel him. He does not overtake him. This is the love of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu This is his behavior. And that's why even non-Muslims are praising him. There is a verse in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 159. He says, O oh, Prophet, you are kind, you are merciful. If you were stern, if you were hard, these people, they would have run away from you. Now, without taking much of your time, I would conclude this small speech of mine with the words of Sheikh Sadi. He, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, attained eminence by his perfection. The darkness was lifted with him by his beauty. Prophet Muhammad was beautiful. All his qualities were lovely. All. Sallu alayhi wa alihi. Blessings be upon him and his family. Wa akhru dawana, alhamdulillahi, rabbil alamin.